So I have been asked many times over the years, what is the best blackberry variety to plant? But I can tell you after a decade, over a decade of growing blackberries, what has been the best for me, what is um, the, the taste uh, comparison, the taste differences in them. And today we are gonna taste the new Ponca blackberry. And we're gonna try to figure out a few more things, traits, growth habits, things like that, that you need to know that will um, help you decide what you need, what kind of variety, what kind of blackberry you need to plant. Let's get after it. Let's eat. So right now you're looking at Prime Arc Freedom blackberries. Now these are in containers. If you don't know anything about my channel, then you need to know I grow blackberries in containers. After years of growing them in the ground and having some success and having some lots of failures and problems with gophers and such as that, we, um, we started growing them in containers. This is the third year for these berries in containers. And I tell you what, uh, I just don't ever see me going back to growing them in the ground. These are doing fantastic. But these are Prime Arc Freedom, which is a primocane blackberry, which means it can fruit, usually will fruit, on the first year cane. Uh, and let me show you an example of that in just a minute. You see those canes right there that look like they're dead and dying. Well, they are. Those are second year canes that have produced their berries. And once they have produced, you can see where the berries were, they start to die. Those will need to get pruned out, and I'll do that in a week or two. Maybe it'll cool down here in a minute. Uh, it's 97 right now. Um, and if you don't have a trellis, you really, really need one. And I'm just gonna pinch that one off right there because it's up above my trellis wire. But, uh, so that's, a, that's one of the traits of the primocane variety is that they will fruit on the first year cane. Again, these are second year canes. They produced a little bit last year, a lot this year, and now they're starting to die, which is what they're supposed to do. So let me show you these prima canes. By that, I mean this is this year's canes. All this, this uh, light green growth like this that, that doesn't look like it's starting to die, all this growth came up this year. And it makes on the first year canes and again on the second year canes. Once they make on the first year canes, don't cut them off, don't prune them off, because they will make even more berries next year. All these, all these canes that you see dead and dying that have just got through producing a huge crop of blackberries were looking just like this last year. They produced a few last year. So let me show you what I'm talking about. That is first year cane. Look at all the blooms. I am fixing to have blackberries. If it'll cool off a little bit, I don't know whether they're going to make if it's 97 degrees, but I am fixing to have blackberries on these canes that just grew this year. And that is a huge cane. It's four feet tall. I pruned it at about four feet right here. And that is a lateral growing up. That right there is a lateral also. You can see where I pruned it. I hope you can see that. Pruned it right there. And it's got a lateral growing that's about 16 inches long. But these uh, Primark Freedoms grow a huge berry. Shoot, those things get, get two inches, uh, inch and a half, sometimes almost two inches long. Big, beautiful berries. They're just a little bit lacking in taste. They taste like a blackberry. They're sweet, but they just don't have the explosion of flavor that some of the other varieties that I've grown and are growing now have. So let's go over here. This last blue tub over here is a Wachita. That's why it's still got berries on it. It's a late uh, bloomer. It's later than the Prime Arc Freedom. And the Wachita berries are very, very good. They're not very big. Most of them are about that size there. Not very big, but very sweet. If you pick one with a little red on it now, it's going to be kind of tart. But as a general rule, they're very sweet blackberries. There's a pretty good size one right there. Not bad. It's not a, again, the Primark Freedoms are twice that size. So a lot of it depends on how big you want your berries. So uh, I like 
the Primark Freedom because of the size of the berry. I like the Primark Freedom because they produce two crops out of that one cane. That first year cane right there, all those canes are going to produce a crop. As you can see, got blooms on them right now, and this is middle of June. Got blooms on them right now. They're going to produce a crop this year and will continue producing uh, really almost until frost. It slows down a lot, but I'll still be getting berries off these canes uh, September and October. A few, not many, but you know, it's nice to come out here and grab a few. And again, I've got 10 tubs, 10 containers of these Prime Arc Freedom blackberries. Before we leave the Prime Arc Freedom, let me say this. Last year in February of 21, we had a, a hard freeze in Texas. You saw it, it was all over the news. It really hurt these Primark Freedom berries. It didn't, didn't hurt the, the mother plant down here, the roots and all that, and even, even in exposed roots because these, the, the roots weren't in the ground. The roots are in these containers. It didn't kill the roots, didn't hurt the roots, but it really hurt some of the canes. I lost probably 50% of the canes um, from the year before that would have produced a good crop of blackberries. So last year, my blackberry crop was not that big. So if you're up, I'm in zone eight. If you're above zone eight, just use caution. We were at uh, zero, even below zero. I think it got down to like minus five for about five days. I mean, it stayed cold for almost a week. And these berries, these canes, uh, just did not just did not like that at all. Now, had they been in the ground, would it have been any different? I don't think so because again, the roots didn't get hurt. It was the canes, not the root system. So I think sub-zero or at zero temperatures can hurt the canes, but not necessarily the root systems. Kind of like fig trees. Fig trees will die back all the way to the ground, which all mine did last year. However, they came back with a vengeance. So, and same way with the Primark Freedom. They came back, but they got hurt bad in the freeze. I wanted to cover that, make sure you know, depends on where you are, um, if that's something you might want to take into consideration. So let's go look at the Poncas. Okay, so these are the Ponca blackberries. I have them in orange tubs, and I've got, I think, nine of these tubs. Six, seven, eight, nine of these tubs. The Ponca blackberry, all this growth was from last year, all of it. The, entirety of everything you see right now grew last year in one year and they were only about six inches tall looked like a little old pencil when i put them in the ground there were nothing almost and this is what they did in one year so i the, the ponca blackberry plant has just impressed the dog out of me because they just went crazy growing so this is the second year for my poncas because poncas are a floor cane variety i didn't get any produce any berries last year from the canes because the floor cane blackberries produce berries the second year. Those canes come up, they grow, they don't do anything this year, and then next year they produce berries. That's, how, that's a floor cane and that's typical of most blackberries except for the new ones that have been coming out in the last uh, maybe decade or so and that's the prima canes. So are the Ponca's any more prolific? You know, I believe they are. I mean, just look at the berries. Well, we're gonna taste them in just a second, but I just want to show you how prolific they are. I believe cane for cane, as far as number of berries, I believe the Ponca blackberries are going to produce more berries than the Primark Freedoms. However, these Ponca berries are pretty small. They're medium to small, let's put it that way. And now that's not typical. They're, most of them are a little bit bigger than that, but I'm just saying they're not. Now this is again, the first year they fruited. So it could be that next year they do something totally different and they've got a better root system. For whatever reason, they grow a bigger and better berry. So that's, that's the, the, what I'm getting this year. That and about twice that size. I mean, they're pretty good size. That's dime size and I'm getting some quarter size, but most of them are, are small. But they are sweet. There is an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We had some neighbors come over and pick about a week ago. They cleaned out the Primacanes, the Primark Freedoms. Uh, they were just marveling at how big they were and came and picked, picked those out. 
and then came over here and picking the pancas. Well, I'm, I don't consider myself having a real sophisticated palate, so I wanted some of them to, to tell me what they thought of the taste difference between the, uh, the panca berry and the Primark Freedom. I wanted them to do a taste test, and they would, they, they would eat one of the Primark Freedoms, then come over here and get one of these uh, good, ripe pancas and their eyes would light up and they'd say, wow, there, there's a big difference in taste. And I, you know, again, I don't consider myself having a great palate, but there is a huge difference in taste. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, there's, just, there's just more of it there. It's sweeter, yes, but there's just more of that blackberry taste there. I mean, when you bite into it, it's just an explosion of that blackberry taste where sometimes the Primark Freedoms, some of them have that, some of them, sometimes you bite into one, it's, it's just a little bland. I mean, you can tell it's a blackberry. You can tell that it's got the blackberry taste, but it's just a little uh, watered down, a little bland. Uh, not bland, just watered down kind of, I guess. And these just, I don't know, they just explode. Maybe it's because they're in a smaller package. I don't know. These are a floricane variety, which means they will produce this year. And I'll show you some canes they have coming up. Here's, a, here's a, some of their new canes coming up. I've already pinched them off. Pinch that one off right there, and now it's starting to do the laterals, which is what you want. Laterals is where you make most of your berries, and these canes get purple. I mean, they just, uh, somebody asked me if my canes were purple during the winter, and they just, they do, they are, they're just as purple as they can be. Green right now, those are the new canes coming up, and I've got several, but they're behind the Primark Freedoms. These, uh, these Poncas, and I just hope you can appreciate just the amount of berries on these things. These are most of them red right now, but just the huge amount of berries on these plants. These are about two to three weeks behind because I've still got tons of red berries, which means I'm gonna have, and I got a few blooms, which means I'm still gonna have berries for about another week at least. And um, so they're two to three weeks behind the Primark Freedoms. I hope this made some, um, some sense to you. Again, the Poncas, they're, they're nice berries. I'm not saying they're not. And next year, I may come to you next year and tell you how they're huge. I don't know. But right now, they're about maybe two-thirds the size to half the size of a Primark Freedom as far as size goes. But they've got that wallop, a nice wallop of sweetness. They're really really good mm, really good so for those of you who are wondering about the ponca berry uh extremely prolific extremely sweet and not just sweet but just a extremely tasty just that good blackberry i mean um concentrated i guess is what i'm trying to say just a concentrated burst of flavor that not just I have noticed, but everybody that's picked them has noticed. There's a, there's a noticeable difference between these and the Prime Arc Freedoms in taste. So, hope that does it for you. And uh, we got to pick some berries. We got a bunch of black ones here. And they're ready to go. Don't pick until they're black. If you got some red, little red knobs on it, little red seeds on it, little red bumps on it. It's going to be a little tart. Now, if you're making a cobbler, you may want a few of them in there to give you a little tartness. But otherwise, it's going to be a little tart. So don't pick, the, don't pick them when, they're, when they got any kind of red on them, if you can help it. See that right there? Just a little bit of red on the top of it. Just a little bit of red right there. And that's, that, would, that would be one I'd save till tomorrow or the next day. All right. I think we about buried out. And it's only 97 degrees. I might go in the house here in a minute. All right. We appreciate y'all. And we're gone.